We said goals last time. I fancy this is tighter than tight. The money line tells you straight away Wolves plus 154. Wolves don't go and score many goals, uh, maybe two maximum. Fulham, for me, are a mirror image of Wolves, but maybe just a little bit ahead. And Fulham are plus 174. Fulham are plus 100 with draw no bet. The under over is set at two and a half and the unders at minus 105 could easily be another 1-1 draw. Remember this, I think that we may see at least two or three 1-1 draws in this weekend's card. So you're going to get value on the away side, not getting beat. Fulham, plus 155 to score twice. Wolves, plus 135 to score twice. Brad, I've got to be with the away side because I think they're just a little bit more mobile. They look after the ball better. And I think they can frustrate a Wolves side who don't create a million chances. Yeah, so this was a match where I just need to get the lineups because when we get the lineups, there is a real chance that Wang's going to be out. We already know that. Uh, we know Cunha's out. But there might be out with Jao Gomez might be out. Pedro Neto might be out. And even the keeper Saw is going to be out for Wolves. That is a recipe for disaster because, number one, without Pedro, without Cunha, without Huang, where's your creativity coming from? What would he uh, – uh, oh, my God, I'm dropping his name. Uh, Pablo Sarabia is your most creative goal threat in that match against a full inside who – are going to want to be on the ball because Wolves will give them the possession that they want. A Fulham side who's playing with a ton of confidence, only one loss in their last five, excuse me, and a Fulham side who I think from the beginning of the season have turned their season around. For Wolves to get something out of this match, in my opinion, with those guys out, would have to shut it totally down. And I think Fulham are okay with that. Like I said, they'll be okay with having the ball. They'll be okay with trying to break them down, and I think they will break them down. Um, so the value is being all over Fulham. I just couldn't have bet it without knowing um, Net Neto's probably the biggest one for me. Uh, Jao Gomez has been pretty phenomenal this season, but not having Neto uh, the last bit of creativity in that front line, it's it's a it's a it's a no goal for me. Like we we watched what happened uh, in that Newcastle match, right? Newcastle goes up, Neto goes out, he goes down, and game over. I bet them not to score, even though I was already on them to score, because it just – it was impossible, an impossible feat for them to create. And I think they're facing another impossible challenge without uh, without those players available. Yeah, Gineppi says – this is why you need to be watching the show. Gineppi says, I'd stay away from this one. Really? You're getting so much value on, for me, the better side, because Wolves have to go and force it because they're at home. And Fulham are like, OK, then – Come and force it because we are far better than you in transition and we have goals from many different uh, situations. I, I love that. I was going to go Fulham just to win the game, Marco, here. But when you're offering me plus 100 for draw no bet, I've got one and a half of the uh, the three possible options. Yeah, um, I think Brad Brad um, laid the groundwork here pr pretty nicely, really. it's It's hard to be positive about Wolves. With the team news that we have available to us right now, which is definitely Cunha out, possibly, probably Huang and Zhao Gomez. Um, you know, you, I was really surprised to see them getting pumped at Newcastle last week. Um, but then I wasn't surprised when I saw the team sheet and obviously what in, happened during that game. Uh, there was a 15-year-old defender on the bench there to start some academy players. Um, you know, it, it shows how thin their squad is really when some of the big players are missing. And... You know, they're light in forward areas. I do expect Pedro Neto to be OK, but can he do it all on his own? Possibly not. And um, yeah, I think advantages with Fulham here. And I think tactically, too, we saw last yeah. week Newcastle almost completely change their or, or flip their own approach, really, to play counter-attacking football at home. And it really spooked and outfoxed Wolves in a way which kind of took me back a little bit, really. And we've seen Wolves as firm favourites at Molyneux be really unconvincing, stutter and stumble their way past Burnley and Sheffield United when asked to take the initiative and, and be the, the front foot side. So if Marco Silva and Fulham have any sense, which I'm sure they absolutely do, they'll be taking a, a similar approach here to to just spook Wolves a little bit. Say, come on, come and try and attack us, as you were saying there, Flash, because we can do you on the counter-attack. And Rodrigo Muniz is playing very well. Harry Wilson is contributing. Willie Ann, and I think defensively they're, they're pretty close to full strength Fulham now too. So... 
uh, fresh off that win at Old Trafford. That will give them a huge confidence boost away from home. Um, yeah, they'll fancy their chances here. And yeah, I agree if I'm having a bet here, I want Fulham plus 100 on the, on the draw no bet. Excellent. Let's have a little look at the official picks because we don't really need to go over this game. It's the away side to get something. Uh, and I, I do think they're going to win. And I'm not going to kick myself for turning down the uh, plus 174 because I'm getting plus 100 uh, anyway. And they don't owe me anything. They won again last week as well. And they seem to be going from strength to strength at a really important time of the season. Um, OK, so draw no bet. Plus 100. Plus 100. 